Hello and welcome back to another episode of Gladius Warhammer 40k Relics. My name is Saiken and today we're going to continue our blind playthrough on very, very difficult uh, difficulty where I'm getting shafted left and right. We have left off uh, when this huge corp of Astra Militarium has invaded us. Our orc, Vazadaka has uh, already created a new city or maybe that is his first city i have no idea but we certainly don't have another city available which sucks um we have fought a very long and resource draining war against the roberts of the south just to sort of agree that we can take the south but uh, that was a long and harsh victory and now we're being invaded from the north which really is not good either oh wait 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 wait, wait. what's that so uh, that looks like a nice little canister here And this looks like a perfect position for a tower. I wonder, can we move a little bit further to the south? Nah, we can do that with one hero, but not with the majority of the heroes. Everybody else needs to move uh, towards the north. Good. Moving, moving, moving. That's our entire army. Do we have any further resources left? No, we're potentially needing to put down a defense tower here. It is called Fortress of Redemption, of course. And this will be definitely overrun. So no option to get out of that what are we going to do here so we need more population limit which will kick in soon and orbital relay will kick in soon as well i feel that we are not in a very good position hitting their heavy machinery and i think fortress of redemption will fall now yeah they do have anti heavy uh, um, armor penetration so specifically these guys here heavy weapon squad are a problem yeah and there's another heavy weapon squad so okay cool well that is that orbital relay will help us to create um, more facilities faster what is our next research increase the armor penetration of bolt weapons that seems like a passive one i like it or a tank unit hmm Let's go with bolters because we need a lot of bolts. Good, moving up here. would assume we're very soon going to see them attacking. Barbarian goes into city defense. We are on full hit points so there's nothing for us to heal up. Hope the orcs are not uh, starting to attack either. And we're really moving into here. Then we're recovering.
And what is this? Increases loyalty. Oh, nice. It's an artifact that passively increases loyalty. How do we claim it? Potentially by killing these things. So there's another fortress of redemption which we can place down. Question is, do we want to place it down here? Which would act as an extra def layer of defense. Potentially the worst idea. Enslave us 44 hit points. Are you kidding me? And we do have an unclaimed item. Recovery package. Well, that is an immediate healing item. I like that. Let's put this on you. No. Maybe here. You don't have a healing item as well. Okay. So. Good question. Where do we put our Fortress of Redemption? I think down here is not bad. Okay, well, these guys here, the enslavers, are a problem. But one that we can solve. Inside of the city, we're having problems with, re uh, with requisitions. Oh, I see. The units and also the size of the city just reduces requisition. Which means we really need to build further requisition. Funnily enough, in order to build requ uh, to earn requisition, you need to build requisition. Okay, well, let's keep it where it is at, and we definitely need more requisition going forward. Okay, well. End of turn it is. Okay, so that permanently gives us the bonus, right? Okay, it does. Cool. Well, that was worth it. Uh, we can certainly defend it with our structures here. Moving up, healing. Moving over here for now. We're continuing to heal. In terms of just buildings, we need definitely more uh, requisition. Good. And with our heroes, we might be able to kill and drive uh, drive Astra Milesium off of our off of our turf here. Moving up. Chaplain moves up as well. We're healing all of the units at the moment. That's all we got. I want that back. Okay. And our last hero begins to move. 
Definitely have enough influence. Can we get another hero? But yeah, 240, 160 here. Oh yeah, okay, well, never mind. This also costs a lot of uh, requisition and we need requisition badly. Good. We're going to grow into this direction with the city. It is now at 13. Are you kidding me? Alright, it seems that our brother here cannot just leave. A couple of holy hand grenades will teach these beasts a lesson. We are moving forward. Our heroes in the front line. Good. Lots of overwatch ready if needed. And our city can now grow up to 19. Okay, cool. And turn. So those aliens are almost the down. Hitting it. And can we capture? No, we cannot. All right, cool. Move up. Taking the first brunt, the overwatch shots. In the meantime, our trusted level 5 base marines are moving up. Good. Can we levitate ourselves? Yes, we can. Right over here. Thank you. And wait, wait, wait. Now select that target. Nice. 12 points of damage. And they will uh, gain quite a bit of quite a bit of uh, extra damage when they attack because they will damage themselves. Very nice. Devastators move up. Can they shoot? No, not yet. Okay. Okay. Uh, army positioning uh, looks good. We get more requisition soon. We cannot build anything. So we're at absolute maximum capacity. And that means end turn. Nice. Overwatch decimates these guys. Okay, well, well, well let's... First move to here. Minor damage. Could deal six or eight with a grenade. Of course the holy hand grenade is 
the solution. up with chaplain kill this guy which is good everybody gets some experience and we got to level up here fantastic so we are going to go rights of war times three so huge buff ten points of damage wow nice Devastators move up and devastate them. Okay. Another level up. Fantastic. Well, we're going to take healing surge time, uh, times three. That's good. Um, should we, we? We know there are still quite a few enemies in position. So I want to use our heroes to move forward. The one thing that I learned is... Heroes are just way, way tankier than normal units. So don't even try it with normal units. We're building more refactory and soon we also need to expand. But we have already queued that. We're skipping both of those units. Uh, might as well heal up. Nice little hit. Heal. pick up and can we heal ourselves no but we can't do that next turn that we're moving good fantastic the south is clear again but as you can see enemies are starting to move in good we're going to hit them with where it hurts which is behind the lines very nice all right rights of war should have done that a bit earlier eight casualties with a flamethrower love it Five casualties, four, and this should be a kill, shouldn't it? Nah, took them down, but not enough. Let's jump to here. And completely get them down. Love it. Good. We're moving up. High ground. Decimate them. And the decimators are decimating them as well. Experience for everybody. Hit points. Decimators go to level 4. And yeah. The sons of the emperor show the common folk why you're not, um, why you're not uh, joking with them. We're healing ourselves as we go. Healing is such a great ability. This whole game seems to be about sustain. And if you do have a front line that can sustain itself, that is great. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay, moving up. We just moved into an old city, but we can't reach them. Might as well spend our time healing, because uh, then we're fully healed up.
levitate over to here to help uh, the other side. Going directly in. Nice. Good hit. Our marines are still strong enough. So, a couple of holy hand grenades. And this should be a kill. Devastator is with the range. Perfect. Okay, well, I want to get there. Get him a few more items. And our main city. Finally gets a bit of an influx. But that's not enough to justify spending all of it on another librarian. So that needs to wait for now. We're getting... We need more uh, requisition way more even if we're currently low on energy good next research we got orbital relay that soon needs to happen extra infantry armor would be great combat shields salt space marine damage reduction infantry unit that heals allies infantry hmm. well, sounds good bombards target enemy Grants fortresses and invulnerability damage reduction. Oh well, that would be ba uh, that would be badass as well. God knows we need those strongholds. But let's start with extra infantry armor. I definitely like dreadnoughts. The souls of uh, or the remaining spirits of old uh, warriors uh, that have uh, fallen are bound into a machine. That's pretty kick-ass. So I like the dreadnoughts, but it does not tell us how how strong they are. For now, we need more armor. Just pass bonuses. All right, end turn. Are you kidding me? Orcs are rushing into our city. Okay, well, that is an, yet another problem, but we first of all need to deal with this mess up here. Okay, so a couple of shots. Weaken them up. 3.9 and this year would deal 12 hit points oh yeah we're going to go about that okay space marines are teaching them a valuable lesson In the meantime, our front line is completely destroying them. Move into here. And assault marines not yet ready. I don't want to park them there. Luckily, our capital can deal with them, but the orcs have now pushed forward, and Vosdaka is five strong, so it won't take long until they are going to march in. Let's shop a little bit, some Shopify here. So what do we have? Um... 
plus eight item that repairs an adjacent allied vehicle or fortification. Eight hit points is pretty damn good, but it costs 160. Um, item that increases influence output. Permanent eight influence. That's pretty damn good as well. Uh, range damage reduction bypass. That is for a ranged hero. We don't have one yet. Re permanent research output. That would be good as well. Item that increases melee damage and melee armor penetration. I like that. This is straight up damage to an enemy. This is a leveling up item. But it only has one charge. Okay, I see. Wow! Item that grants life steal to all melee weapons. Okay, well, here we go. That's the first item you buy. Item that grants a cleave effect to all melee weapons. Ooh. That sounds good as well. Item that blocks next psychic power. No, we're going to do healing rate and hit points. And we still got 160, which means we could either take cleave or big fat armor penetration and more damage. Hmm. Cleave it is. Plus one additional member's hit. I don't know. I mean, does that really deal so much more damage? I think that is going to be good against multiple enemies. This here is going to go uh, be good for armor penetration. Alternatively, we can also just get the permanent influence item, which kind of pays off in 20 turns. If we take it, we should take it now. Now we're going to cleave, cleave town. All right, he's loaded. He is absolutely loaded. Passive, passive, and passive. Nice little hit point, extra hit points. Good, I think we can end the turn. Well, look at that. We got some Umbras up here, which to me looks very much like uh, the equivalent of the machines, but in, in just less fun. All right, these guys have taken severe losses. Move in, kill, lots of experience, unfortunately the librarian was just out of range, I like that. So this here would give us further research. Librarian has leveled up, which means we could get Levitate or Shockwave. Levitate definitely helps us to be super, super agile. Shockwave seems like an AOE attack, so might as well want to use that as well. Good, we are fighting, we're continuing here to move up and our absolutely 
loaded. Uh, Hero is moving up as well. One more turn, we could deploy a fortress here. Good, we need to build in the city. And we have already found out we need more requisitions. This here would also be interesting because that reduces our build time going forward. So let's get some more requisitions and then next up I want uh, the build time reduction. Unclaimed item. Combat stimulants plus 25% damage. Range cell. Well, and that is for our front line. Take. Good. Maybe there is another relic up here in the corners. Let's end the turn. Okay, well, we will need all of the help that we can get because we've now angered the stupid orcs. Might as well place that here. healing ourselves uh, we're not yet full HP uh, we're not yet uh, leveled up is what I meant to say five more experience and we certainly don't want to die here okay how about some fast units as in you guys and the librarian are actually going to move on. We're going to hit this guy almost finished would have used uh, rights of war to actually finish him this turn bit of a waste Oh, wow, 14 points of damage. What is going on? What are these things? Megabots, Orcish Fungus, hit points. They have a wow. Please, the attacks. Influence for damage. Well, that is great. Green Tide. And have stink bombs. Okay, well, that's a problem. Specifically, their power clause with armor penetration 7. Oh. Not good. Well, one up over here. Let's start. Our fortress hits these guys and we're continuing. Good. At least reduce it to two models instead of three. We are levitating over. Defeat the enemy camp. 
Well, uh, apparently that was a quest. And now we can get Forbidden Knowledge as the reward. Visit the highlighted tiles with a librarian. So this one here. And this one and this one. Oh. Okay, well that quest will take a while. Good. Well, let's start hitting these guys. And of course, little minor disruptions down here. The big problem is rather these orc boys in the middle. Okay, what is our city doing? Uh, city gets more refactory because we need that badly and then we're going to build an orbital relay and i'm just looking at the time i think we're done for this episode um, we <laughs> have yet again uh, pushed back an entire army up there but now the orcs are pressing it is it is incredible how well this game just continues pacing and there's always something going on I really appreciate it. Orcs are definitely here as well. So yeah, this is this seems to be kind of the canal that they come through, and maybe our next target should be to get Wasdagger. Or be overrun by the orcs. But before we can do that, let's clear out this section here. Oh, it's a lot of enemies right there. These Umbras are going to suck 17, 16, 17 hit points. That's a lot. And a couple of Chaos Cultists plus a Webway. So that's a lot. But we're going to do that the next time. Thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoy Warhammer 40k content, leave a comment and a like down below. And see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.